Hey everyone, welcome to NSC TV, your behind the scenes look at the National Sports Center. I'm your host, Scott Clayson, and today we are outside the Schwann Super Rink, where we recently came across an interesting athlete who is a hopeful for the 2014 Sochi Olympics. However, his sport is not hockey, it is speed skating. Paul Dyrud grew up at the Roseville Speed Skating Oval as a long distance speed skater. He now trains here at the Schwann Super Rink in hopes of making the Olympic team this next year. Now Paul is going to be in Germany this coming weekend and again in a couple of weeks at some World Cup events as he hopes to qualify for the World Single Distance Speed Skating Championships which will be in Sochi, Russia at the end of March. NSC TV caught up with him and found out about his journey as an Olympic hopeful. I started skating when I was eight years old. Um, my parents actually wouldn't let me play hockey, thought it was a little too dangerous. Started out on Parker's Lake in Plymouth, and then the Oval opened um, what was that early, early 90s in Roseville. Um, and so we're out in Roseville from November to March um, on the long track, and then uh, during the off season, uh, the summer months, uh, we do a lot of our training indoors, um, and a lot of our training at the uh, Super Rink. Nine. I qualified for my first junior world team when I was 17 and um, competed in Japan um, and Kushiro City was uh, the track um, that the junior worlds was at and um, that's really how I got my start in on the US team and then sort of from there I was kind of like groomed to be on the uh, senior team and, and train with the national teams out in Salt Lake City. Um, but moved around a little bit from Salt Lake and trained with a group in Minneapolis for a little bit and then back up to Salt Lake and Milwaukee. I think the balancing act between coaching and competing and family has been um, difficult at times, but in the past I was, when I wasn't coaching, when I didn't have a wife and two kids and was just skating and going to school. Um, school is something that was constantly hanging over my head. So I actually feel like now it's a lot easier to balance what I have on my plate than, than I did in the past. So right now um, I'm training basically with one goal in mind and that's to make the, the Olympic team in 2014. I missed the 2010 team by 1.12 seconds in the 1500 meter event. And then I uh, retired, um, so to speak, and went back to school, finished my degree in physiology at the U of M. Um, didn't necessarily think I'd be skating again, um, but I kept, uh, kept, kept my foot in the sport uh, through coaching, and that sort of gave me the itch once I finished school this past May to, to train again. I think what people are so drawn to in, um, in terms of, of setting out to make the Olympic team or you know any lofty goal for that matter is um, kind of just the, the rush that accompanies um, you know the day-to-day -day aspect of, of pushing yourself uh, whether it's training for a sport or whether it's studying for a big exam. I think there's just that rush involved and that constant anxiety that, that people hate, but they, they also love and that motivates them. Of course, we wish Paul the best of luck and we hope to see him in Sochi, Russia a year from now. Well, this past weekend, we were down at the Depot in downtown Minneapolis, where soccer great Tony Sana was hosting the Gala for Goals event. This is a fundraiser for the Sana Foundation. It's an opportunity where all the soccer people change out of their cleats, get dressed up. We were there. We are lucky enough to host a table. So let's take a look.
To find out more how you could get involved and help Tony Sana with the mission of his foundation, go to thesanafoundation.org. And that is going to do it for this week's episode of NSC TV. As always, find us on our website, nscsports.org. I'm your host, Scott Clayson. Well, of course, we wish Paul the best of luck, and we hope to see him in Sochi. Sochi. As always, find us on our website, nscsports.org. I'm your host, Scott Clayson. And you're not. Yeah, just wait for you. Goodbye. <laughs> you're, okay. oh, you're all right. <laughs> now he's going to be on camera, isn't he? Because we got him for the outtakes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.